Hi, this is Bruce Moulton with Texas Scientific Products. Today we're going to assemble the torch injector and adapters and spray chamber for an Arcos MV and uh, we're going to do the radial side of the system. We're going to do using the items that are on this side of the table and then we've got the axial side that we're going to do uh, on the right hand side. And uh, the first thing that we'll take a look at is this device right here, which is supplied um, as a torch base with, uh, it's supplied with the Spectro Arcos MV. And um, we're gonna go ahead and take the nut off of that uh, because we won't be using the nut. We will, however, be using this. So the first step in the process is gonna be to take the injector and we're going to insert it into the hole slides right in now depending on your adapter you might feel a little more a little bit less friction as you're sliding it in it shouldn't be so hard that you're going you feel like you're going to crack it um, but it also shouldn't be so loose that uh, you kind of feel things wobbling around and e if either of those cases exist uh, call texas scientific and we'll get you squared away so once the injectors in there we'll take the new black nut and we'll screw that down nice and tight and so now we've got the base with the injector in there and we're ready to insert the torch so we'll take the radial torch and we're going to insert it into the base and you'll hear a, a click And when you hear that click, you know that this is inserted all the way down. Okay. Also, when you take a look at it, you should see a nice concentric alignment of the injector and the um, inner and outer tubes of the torch. At this point, everything should be pretty solid. Nothing should be loose, wobbling around. And um, we're done setting up the torch. Now we're going to connect it to uh, that spray chamber right there. So, in order to do that, we'll take our spray chamber, and you'll notice that spray chamber has a, a bigger um, socket on it. Uh, this has a 12.5, and this is the 18.9, and uh, these two things don't go together. So, what we do is we use an adapter, and we take this, take the larger clamp, hold it in place. I'll go ahead and tighten it down. Okay. And then uh, we'll take another clamp. This is the smaller clamp, 12.5. And then we'll tighten that down. And you're going to want to make sure everything is, is nice and properly aligned and straight. Okay, and at that point, um, this is our setup for the radial version or the radial side of the MV. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we'll do it for the axial side. So we'll go ahead and we'll disassemble this. Okay, I'll put our spray chamber there. We'll take this off, and we won't need this adapter. We can pop out the torch and screw this. We can take the injector out. And then we're going to swap out for the new injector. This is the axial one. Okay. Should be nice and firm. Everything's good. You can hear that pop again. Okay. Now you also notice with the axial, um, first of all, it's a little bit longer than the radial was. And also, um, it's got a flared end on it that you can see right there. So that's how you can tell that you make sure you're working with the right um, torch body. So then, uh, you know, getting it connected back to the spray chamber, it's the same thing. We've got an adapter here, the 12.5. And so um, we'll take the small clamp. And 
And then uh, we've got the spray chamber. Go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, and at this point, we're in good shape uh, to run the axial setup on the MV. Um, that's it. If you have any questions about the assembly of either the radial or the axial system on the Arcos MV, uh, give Texas Scientific Products a call at 888-268-6037. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks.